In this third naming video, I'm going to look at how to name alcohols. So I've drawn up in blue there three alcohols that I'd like you to have a go at naming. So obviously pause and then play on and you'll hear me go through the answers. But this is the first naming video where I'm going to introduce you to these terms suffix, which is basically the end part of the name. So the suffix for alcohols is all. So basically the name ends in all. And there's something known as a prefix, which is the start of the name. And for alcohols, the prefix is hydroxy. Now, the prefix idea will only come into play when I put another set of alcohols onto the board. So don't worry about that just yet. So the first one, straightforward, we've got one, two, three, four, five five carbons in a continuous chain so it's going to be pent and we've got the OH group the hydroxy group on carbon number one so remember it's, we count to get the shortest number so it's not one two three four five it's one so this is pentan one all Next one, longest continuous chain is one, two, three, four, five long again. So it's pent. The OH group is on the first carbon. So it's still a pent on one all, but we've got a, um, a branch, an alkyl group branch on carbon number, well, if that's carbon number one, two, three, and that's a methyl branch. So this would be three methyl, pentan one all and the last one of these we've got one two three four five so it's pent again but this time the OH group is on the second carbon so this is going to be a pentan two all but we've got a methyl branch so if that's carbon number two three four that must be carbon number four so this will be called 4-methyl-pentan-2-ol. Before we look at what is meant by prefix, we'll look at this last one. So we've got two OH groups. So have a go at naming this one and I'll go through the answers. So you'll notice we've got two OH groups now. So this is going to be something known as a diol. Di meaning two, all meaning two OH groups, two alcohol groups. So how many carbons are in the longest continuous chain? One, two, three, four, five. So it's still pent, but we've got these two OH groups. Where are they? They're on carbon number one, two, three, four. So this is called pentane. 1,4 diol and just notice again there we've got the hyphen separating words from numbers and we've got a comma separating numbers. So we'll increase the difficulty level now and I'm going to throw something like this at you. Now this would be very very rare on an exam paper and to be honest I don't even know if they would ask something like this but let's have a go anyway. So the problem we've got is this is an alkene and an alcohol. So how do you go about naming something which has two functional groups? And this is where the idea of prefix and suffix really comes into play. So before we actually look at the real UPAC name for this, let's just look at our options first of all. So let's just assume this is an alkene with an OH branch. So what's the longest continuous chain? One, two, three, four, five long. So it's pent. And we're assuming that the alkene's kind of the most important functional group. So this would be pent one in. And then we've got an OH group on carbon number one, two, three, four. So because we've decided this is an alkene, we have to use the prefix for alcohols, which is hydroxy. So if we were going to 
go on that system for naming this, we'd have to call this 4-hydroxy-pent-1-ene. So there's the name written up there, and what we've assumed, remember, is that the CC double bond is the most imp, just stands for important there, couldn't fit it on. So CC double bond most important would give it this name, 4-hydroxy-pent-1-ene. So now let's flip it around and let's assume that the OH group is the most important, which means that this is an alcohol and the carbon-carbon double bond is sort of less important. What would we call it then? So if we're going along the lines of an alcohol, then this is one, two, three, four, five. So carbon number two is where the OH group is. So it's Pent, I'm choosing my words carefully now, pent to all. Remember, it's an alkene as well. So where's this carbon-carbon double bond? Well, if that's carbon number two, three, four. So we'd call this pent fourteen to all. So we've got two possible names. So we've got the orange name, and the green name, which is the actual UPAC name. Now I think if they asked you this in the exam, you, the rules I'm going to show you now are the um, priority list. That would not be expected, so don't worry about that. I think that if you came up with either of these names, the orange one or the green one, they would credit you the marks. Anyway, I'll show you the actual name. So there is a set of rules that organic chemists use for nomenclature and it's based on this table here. So you can see that we have a priority list. So the carboxylic acid is the most important functional group and ester is second and so on. So let's look for the ones that are in our molecule here. We've got alcohol. And there's alkene there. So alcohol is actually more important than alkene when it comes to naming. And so because of that, we use the suffix for alcohol because it's higher up. So which name was the actual name? It was the green one. So we'll finish with this one. So what would we call this? And I'll quickly show you the priority list again. So the two functional groups in question are the halogen, so that's at the very very bottom of this list and there's alcohol sort of in the middle roughly. So what would we call this? So because the alcohol is the high priority group, the OH group, we're going to base the name on an alcohol, so it's going to end in all. We're going to use the suffix. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven long, the continuous chain. So that's hept, and the OH group is obviously carbon number two. So this is some kind of heptan to all. Where's this bromo attachment? One, two, three four, five. So we would call this 5-bromo-heptan-2-ol.